Today on the Base Channel, we're taking a slightly different look at the Microtubes Infinity from Dark Glass. Now right up front before we get too deep into this, I should let you know that Dark Glass sent me this product to demo, but of course if you'd like to support us and get one for yourself or another Dark Glass pedal or picks or strings or cables or an amp or a bass or what have you, then it would help us out tremendously if you used our affiliate link down below to Zounds. Again, using our affiliate link costs you nothing extra, but it sends a small commission our way for sending you that direction. So at the top you heard me say something about taking a slightly different than normal look at this particular pedal. And what do I mean by that? Well, rather than feed you a bunch of samples that we've recorded here playing 30 seconds of some kind of line and putting drums or maybe not to it like we did on the Atom, I wanted to see not only how it would sound, but more importantly how it would function in my personal use that I would use this pedal for. So as you might have heard me talk about, if not, I'm gonna talk about it more in the future because there's a lot to say. Uh, throughout the beginning of 2022, sometime around February through April, I recorded an album with my friend Clint Wells. Um, fun fact that we're gonna touch on a little bit deeper later, I used exclusively Gibson basses on it. And when we tracked it, I ran everything through software. So the bass signal would hit one of Logic's built-in compressors, which would then go into the Dark Glass Ultra Suite by Neural DSP, which would then go into the Ampeg SVT Suite. And you know, each song was tweaked a little differently to suit that particular song, flavor, bass, mix, etc. But since I recorded them all directly into the interface and did all of the processing as plugins, I'm left with all of the raw bass tracks from every song on that record. So it seemed like no better time than to reamp all of those clean bass tones into this pedal that if I were to ever go out and play a gig with this project, this would most likely be the product that I would use. So I spent quite a bit of time the other day picking six of my favorite songs of those nine that I did and dial in this particular pedal the best I could to get as close as the original tone I went for while also kind of leaning into some of the differences to make it suit the particular mix for whatever given song. So all of the sound samples that you're gonna see in this video are all presets, so don't really pay attention to the physical knobs. Pay attention more to the lights around the knobs because I'm changing presets from actually from the phone. I connected the phone via Bluetooth and each song has its own preset within the pedal.
This is the third product in the dark glass line in this platform. Of course, the first one was the Atom, or as Jamie calls it, the aggressively distorting its machine. And when that pedal came out, I felt the same way then as I do now. I loved it conceptually, I loved it on paper, I loved all of the functionality that the pedal itself had to offer. I just didn't like the distortion tones. But either way, we did that video a couple years ago when that pedal was released in a very typical bass channel fashion. Moving forward a little bit, Dark Glass releases the Alpha Omega Photon, which is again the Alpha Omega circuit within that same platform that the Atom, or the aggressively distorting its ass machine, had to offer. And when this one came out, I liked it better, but still, as I've maintained for a while, the Alpha Omega circuit just isn't for me. I like the way it sounds in other people's hands. Josh makes it sound really good, but when I play through it, it's just not my favorite flavor. And finally now here in, uh, I think this came out late 2022, I'm shooting this video in early 2023. Either way, they have finally come out with my personal flavor of this platform. It retains all the great features like the cab sim and the compression and the programmability and all the different ins and outs and routing options you can do that the Atom and the Photon had. But now you get the B3K and the Vintage Ultra and then you can also do some crossover stuff so you can recreate all of the sounds you find in the X series preamp. But that crossover tweakability is also available in the Vintage Microtubes preamp, which up until now, has not really been heard before. So with all that being said, this one is definitely my flavor because not only do I love it conceptually, I actually love the tone because I'm a Microtubes fan.
So another thing that I should mention, if you have this, if you wanna get this, if you have the Photon, if you have the Atom, any of the pedals that operate on this platform, I'd highly recommend plugging it into your computer via USB and downloading that Dark Glass Suite and really taking a look at everything that it has to offer. Because yes, there's five preset cab sims and the preset compression, but the cab sims are interchangeable, the routing is interchangeable, and the EQ frequencies per slider are also interchangeable. I think I also forgot to mention that the attack and release for the compressor are interchangeable. The only problem that I had is they don't give you the exact value. It's not measured in milliseconds, it's just measured one through seven. So I think one is slower, seven is faster, and then you have everything in between. But the one thing, of course, that the Infinity has that the Photon and the Atom do not is that you can actually adjust the crossover frequencies the same way you can on the X-Series pedals, or at least the X7 and the X-Ultra. And then the other thing that's really cool is all of the different routing options that you can select and change and customize. So I did it to where uh, I wanted the cab sim to be after the blend pretty much all the time. So it kind of sounds like you're playing through a real amp. If you were to put a distortion pedal with its own blend, 
into an amplifier, the cabinet comes last. So I wanted to recreate that in here, but if you don't like that, you can set the cab sim to only be on the distortion side. So it's cab sim distortion parallel to your direct clean zero process signal. Maybe not literally zero process, but you know what I mean. The other thing I did is on the uh, quarter inch outs, I chose mine to have no cab sim. Uh, I think the right one I put as distortion and effects and the left one as clean. So if I did ever wanna run them into an amp, I wouldn't have to worry about the cab sim. That's all taken care of just in the DI and these two, no cab sim. So finally, I know that this video is a slightly unconventional for our standards way of demoing a piece of gear, which normally I like to show you as many players, as many bases, as many styles, and all of that sort of thing as possible so you can get an idea if it's gonna work for you. But for this one, I just, I really wanted to focus in on the functionality because I know that I love the way the B3K and the vintage and all that stuff, I love how those sound. You can go watch the videos that we've done on the B7K and the vintage and the X and we use dark glass in so many different things that I think you probably have a good idea of how this sounds. And I just wanted to focus on functionality. And the biggest question that I had on my mind is, could I record an entire record with this? And more so, could I do an entire gig or a handful of gigs with this? And I think I've answered for myself, yes. So again, uh, as far as the functionality goes, if the microtubes flavor is not for you and you're more of an alpha omega fan, then obviously the Photon features all of the functionality that this has to offer, minus the crossover and that sort of thing. But the tweakability, programmability, uh, you can definitely get through an entire record or an entire gig with these pedals. There's enough tonal variation on tap to where I think that's probably gonna be zero issue.
it's not clear by this point. The big question is, what do I think about it? Um, we'll put it this way. I don't have the atom anymore, and I don't have the photon anymore. I'm not getting rid of this one. This one's staying here. This one's staying in my arsenal. I'm going to definitely record with it, do more Josh covers with it. I'm going to be using this quite a bit. So if you want to hear more sound samples, I'm sure there's plenty of other great videos, whether it's Patrick Hunter or a bunch of people that at the moment my mind is blanking on because I've been talking now for 13 minutes. Um, but yeah, go watch all of those videos or one or two or however many of those videos you need to watch to decide whether you want it or not, or just until you fall asleep on the couch eating Cheetos. And I only say that because that's what I do at night. So with that being said, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the sound samples. Again, if you're interested in this pedal or another dark glass pedal or another company's pedal or picks or strings or cables or amps or basses, or oh my, uh, it would help us out tremendously if you went down below and clicked our affiliate link over to Zounds. It costs you nothing extra, but it sends a little bit of a kickback our way to help keep these lights on. As a thank you, thank us for sending you that direction. And of course, if you'd like to collectively buy us a cup of coffee a month, you can sign up to be a YouTube member there. You're going to get some exclusive content, maybe some polls in the future. I don't know. 2023 is a big new frontier and we're going to do something real fun and different with it. I just don't know exactly what yet. So in the meantime, thank you all very much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.